Happy hump day. Before I get started, I want to say that my husband sucks because I asked him to give me a topic to talk about today. And he told me to talk about cars knowing I have no information to give you on cars at all. So, there's that. So welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing today? How's your Wednesday going so far? I hope you are doing well, that you've been productive today, that you've been good, that you're blessed, you know? That was scary, wasn't it? Why did it do that? Anyways, um, this bird is rude. <sighs> if you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome. I'm glad you're back. <sighs> what do I talk about today? You know, there's this song. Um, I know it's by an African group. It's a gospel song, worship song. Um... But at the end, towards the end, it always says, um, You are the reason why I'm living. Woke me up this morning. Started me on my way. And I always like that because, um, you know, Christ is the reason why I'm living. And it's just like, you are the reason why I'm living. You woke me up this morning. You started me on my way. So it's just like, Always being grateful to the Lord that he has woken you up, waking you up, woken, waking, waking, waking you up. Yes, waking you up. And just for you to give, be about your day. And I'm just so excited for that. These birds, I don't know if y'all can hear them, but they're driving me crazy. Like, shh. I thought they would have heard me, but they don't care. They disrespectful. So, have any of you guys watched Squid Games? That show is wild. And you know what? I don't think Christians should be watching that. But I think after you see the first episode, it's just like, what the heck? And you know, this is what I told Joseph. I was like, it would not surprise me if there's something like this going on in the real world. And I'm not saying that jokingly. I am saying that in like, in the most serious way. I was just like, babe, like, this could be going on for real. Because this man supposedly wrote this movie in 2009. And I'm just like, why on earth? Would you even write a script about this? Like, and it's crazy because people used to kind of pay off their debt in the wildest ways, right? But this is basically like you playing a game to win money, showing you greed, first of all, because ain't no way. Like, I get it. That you're supposed to, you know, pay back your debts, this and that. But I don't think there's no amount of money in a world where you have to really persuade me to play a game. Like, I'd have been like, what's the catch? And you tell me, it's my life? And some people were still okay with that. Like, that's a problem. And I feel like there's a lot of people... If they had the opportunity to be in a situation like that, they probably would just for the money. And I'm like, is it worth it? Is it worth it? And like I said, the reason I feel like there's stuff like this happening in a real world, in whatever remote places, hell, probably in the U.S. too. We don't know. I just feel like the elites of the elite like people with money that is so deep 
generations going back to maybe the 16th or 17th century, they don't know what broke is. I'm talking about that deep in money. I'm talking about who's the richest man right now in the world? Is it the Amazon guy? Let me call to let me Google. Uh, richest man in the world. Elon Musk. That's that's the Tesla guy. I'm talking about money like that. Even though he's not, he hasn't been rich his whole life. But I'm talking about people with money like that. I feel like they into this stuff. Like, they want to see people get tortured because they know some people will do the craziest things for money. People will risk their lives for money. And it's just like, when this is what God means when he says money is the root of all evil. Money is a good resource. It's not like he doesn't want you to have it. But it's how you obtain it. It's how you use it. Like, those are the reasons where it's just like, oh, y'all evil. And if you haven't watched the movie, the people who set up these games are, they're like betting all these people's lives to see who is actually going to win or die. And I'm just like, who thinks of this? Who thinks of this? Did I watch the entire thing? Yes. Only because I wanted to see who won. And I wasn't cheering anybody on. I know I was too, I know I was saying, man, I hope. And I kind of felt bad afterwards because I was like, man, I hope he died. And I'm like, realistically, I don't be wanting people to die. It's just the characters. I want I want the characters to die, not the actual person. Cause it's just like when you show me you have a nasty character. I don't care what happens to you. Now, I'm not talking in real life. I'm talking about on TV. Because there's a lot of nasty people in this world that I've encountered. I don't wish death upon them. I just I just question why they're so evil. <laughs> but it's TV and movie stuff. I mean, like, okay, the scared. They got to go. They got to go. But then I'm like, man, why am I thinking like that? But if you ask Joseph, sometimes when we're watching something and I want somebody to get shot or something, I never want them to, like, die i'll just be like shoot him in the foot and he'll he'll say something completely different he'll be like we shoot the kill <laughs> not just the foot babe um i feel like i'm going all over the place with this video right now but yeah squid game was like ridiculous and like it just really shows people heart how desperate they can be for money especially when they're in a lot of debt um, especially when they're in debt where it's just like, I can't really live out here, but it wasn't just let's win a game. It's like, <sighs> you're putting other people's lives at risk too because you're trying to win a game. So you don't even care if they live or die. And I think that's the sucky part about it. And it's like the people running it and they were like getting joy from these people dying and I'm like what is this anyways I, I had like a 15 minute session with my why does thing keep on blurring out stop I had a 15 minute sesh with the therapist and I really really like her she seems cool she has a country voice though like a southern accent country southern country accent i don't know do i have an accent i don't think i have an accent i'm not sure whatever i like her she seems cool and we have our first session on friday so i'm excited to finally start therapy like i've been saying this for years now <laughs> maybe i wouldn't be so broken if i would have started when i said i wanted to start so all right, let me mention this last two things and then I'll I'll leave. These are the two things that I'm talking about. So these two were piercings. When you get new piercings, make sure you take care of your piercings. Don't do the stupid things I did. I'm gonna tell you what I did. I got these two piercings along with these two, right? 
and and when I when she told me it takes six weeks to heal, these two were harder to heal because you know all the product of my hair and all that other stuff oily it was just hard but all i heard was six weeks six weeks six weeks so after six weeks i changed them out even though i can clearly tell they were not healed yet because they hurt so bad so i switched them out to another piercing because i didn't like the earrings that was originally in them so i switched them out and then after a while they stopped hurting if I didn't touch them or move them, but I'm like, these suckers are not healing. Like, what? What is this ghettoness? And so eventually, I had took the top one out, and it left that keloid scar right there, and I left this one in because the top one always hurt. It never stopped hurting, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take it out so it can close. And then this one, the second, the one on the bottom that one i recently took out because i just hate how that earring look with this dang on um keloid scar and i was just like why is this happening and the thing is they sell things to make it go down it's just that i'm not consistent enough because it's like you gotta do it twice a day wait for it to dry this and that and i'm like i'm gonna just have a scar I don't care and it's crazy cuz maybe I am prone to keloid scars cuz usually you don't get keloid scars scars unless you're prone to them but then again I have this scar from when I was younger right here never went away so maybe I am prone to them hmm. anyways bye I love you guys but Jesus loves you most